I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. So in today's tiny house video, I'm going to be installing this outdoor wall lantern, or sconce. Not exactly sure which one you call it. So strange thing about this, um, when you install a window or a door, uh, you have to do all this waterproofing and bug proofing and wind proofing. Every video I've watched on installing these outdoor wall hangings just says drill a hole, wire it, and then bolt it up. So it's kind of strange that there's very little um, waterproofing done to one of these. Uh, this is a cheaper one. Uh, since I'm building this tiny house on a budget, uh, $11 I think, and it does not come with a rubber gasket to go between the light and the house. So I'm going to be making my own. So that's our first step. Let's get to it. I have some sheet rubber here that I um, pulled off of the flume and I printed out a circle and this circle is five inches because the uh, the lantern hole is four inch so it gives us a half inch on every angle to uh, to work with so I'm just going to take a sharpie here and press down and just draw that circle out there Oops. Uh, it's cold out today got about uh, uh, three inches of snow last night so pretty good there's our circle and now uh, I'm going to use these snips here to cut this out so I'll be using these circular uh, boxes here and they've got nails and they will uh, go into the side here like this and wiring goes through um, but to get this through here I'm going to use my tape measure and come off from the window so you got 21 and 3 quarters um, to this stud over here and then on the outside, I'm going to come down uh, roughly uh, 8 to 9 inches in this spot here. Uh, sorry, on this side right here. So let's go outside and get the spot marked where we want this. Got my tape measure here. I'm going to just use this piece as my uh, middle piece here. Uh, so, uh, come over 21 and 3 quarter right there okay so I'm gonna just mark that with my pencil here okay make sure now I'm gonna come over two inches to right here okay now what I want to do now is uh, take the drill here and I'm just going to put a hole in here with a masonry bit. Be right back. Let's see if having the right tool makes a difference here. Oh yeah, big time. Let's go inside and see what that looks like. So here is the hole right here, and the box needs to go here. So it looks like I need to come over another inch to get the center of the box here. Now I'm gonna say three fourths of an inch uh, towards the window. And so our box will have a hole right there. And to do that, we're going to be using this guy. It's a carbon tipped blade uh, hole saw. And so you'll be able to go through that fiber board uh, from the outside. So let's get to it. This is likely going to take a minute or two. So bear with me here. Oops, forgot my mask. Be right back. So 
So pretty much every source I've been to says wear a mask if you're going to make this kind of dust. So that's what I'm doing. There's the first one. It's kind of a pain to get this uh, fiber board out of here. I may have to take the uh, take it apart real quick. There we go. Nice circle. This little guy right here was uh, $16 and has actually worked out really well. So as you can see, there's uh, this other piece down here and I gotta get through that as well. That wasn't pretty. Got it. Okay. Now I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, takes a while to get through the OSB with this type of uh, cutting tool. So I got the hole in here, but I went over too far and you can see the hole is a little bit uh, this way. So luckily, uh, a piece of OSB is just the size I need to line that back up. So I'm just going to cut uh, this little piece here as a uh, shim. Just cut this piece down right here. I'm just going to put some screws in it. Kind of keep it in place while we get this circular box installed. I think one is enough for that. Okay, so this box has got to go here, and I think I'm just going to slightly press it in and then hammer it because the um, hardware that came inside of the light has uh, adjustment screws, so this can actually um, be in just a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. So got this just slightly into the hole. Ouch. Yeah. I'm hitting these uh, nails up here. Missed. Nice. All right, that's secure. So I know at the angle you're at, it's kind of hard to see this, but there are knockouts in the top of this. Basically, they're just really weak points in the box. And I've busted them here so we can get uh, the two wires in that we need. The one going to the light, and the one going from the light. I went ahead and run the wire. So now, I'm just gonna stuff this into the holes we popped out here. Okay, that should be all we need there. Now let's go outside. Now that we're back outside, I'm gonna take my knife here and strip off some of this sheathing. Okay, 
Then, uh, on each of these wires, I'm just going to strip back uh, a couple inches off the edges here. Well, I guess not a couple inches, but maybe a three-fourths of an inch. I managed to get all of those stripped down and uh, ready to go. The next thing I'm going to do is get this piece right here that came in the light. And I'm going to cinch down here to make sure this thing stays in the middle, like a cross. Then um, the two screws here go off on these sides, like this. And I'm just going to put those in. So basically I'm just going to get these in here enough that um, they will stay in place because later I'll have to adjust these screws to get um, the correct uh, depth in this box here. But for now, we'll just get it up here. Okay, now i got to pull off these uh, black screws here, or nuts I suppose. And the little black washer. The washer is important to keep this thing uh, waterproof. So here's the light we're going to be installing. It's got three wires, black, white, and um, non-colored. So the first thing I want to do is loop, I guess you won't be able to see much here, but I'm going to loop the um, ground wire around the green screw and then cinch that down with a screwdriver. I'll move your point of view here in a second so you can see better. Okay. One nice thing is that helps to hold the light up while you work. I almost made a big mistake and that was not putting our washer, I mean our gasket in here first. So I'm going to make a couple of holes in here. This will allow the cords to poke through and not uh, interfere with the gasket. Just some holes like that. Both sides here. Okay, and then a hole in the middle for the wiring in the middle to go through. So I'm going to take all the wires and stick them into our gasket here. Okay, and now that will go up against the house whenever uh, this thing is tight. Okay. The more expensive uh, fixtures come with that uh, gasket, but like I said, this is $11, so can't really expect too much from it. Okay. So, I've got some wire nuts here, and I want to connect whites, blacks together, and then the neutrals. There is no power to this building, so I don't have to worry about turning that off. But that would be your first step. Make sure that's nice and tight. Okay. Now, somewhere in here, I've got black tape. And this just ensures that no wires ever touch each other or something else. I think it's getting colder out here. Last time I looked at the temperature it was 26. OK. 
Okay. So I'm gonna do the next two without you and then bring you back for the next step. Okay, so I found a mistake. Remember I said that you can adjust these screws here um, for the thickness of the wall? Well, I should have pushed my um, box all the way out because now my screws aren't long enough um, to go through the holes here. So I just went and uh, found some uh, longer ones but for next time I'll know that I'm going to have to uh, um, push that box all the way against the OSB. So what I'm just going to do is unscrew these live and learn right and I do think it's nice uh, to post the mistakes that I make so that you won't learn the hard way okay now I went ahead and bought uh, two inch screws. I figured that I'd probably need them. I guess now the question would be, how far can I screw these in? We're on the home stretch now. So I've got the uh, adjustment made here to fit the correct, uh, I guess, depth of the hole. So now I'm gonna make sure our gasket is coming out appropriately. Then, get these little washers on here and start cinching this thing down. Sorry, I'm blocking your way there. There's one side. Let me get the other, and then we'll finish it up. I got that nice and tight. This last thing is this uh, cosmetic ring that goes on here. Just like that. All done. Let's take a look at it. Okay, you can see it's nice and flush against the wall there. The gasket is a little bit small on the underside here. Uh, whoops, you can't see that. Uh, there. But it's still, uh, still protruding, so I think it's good. I like it. I hope you enjoyed this video because I was doing all this in the cold. It's like a 26 and snowy out here. Let's go inside and see what the inside looks like. I went ahead and ran the uh, wire from the breaker box here up and over and then down to our uh, circular box here. And that's what we just finished up. So there's going to be another one uh, on uh, this side of the door, one over here. And then I've actually already gotten the last one over here done. It is really cold out there. It's nice to be able to come in here and get warm. Well, um, so we have two of those uh, lantern lights installed and just the two in the front to go, and those are done. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Remember when we, whoa, that's a slippery hill. <laughs> okay, I got that real, whoa, slippery hill. Lowe's had it for $2 off per uh, roll, which is 32 foot rolls, and it's made for um, two by four studs.